Since Repair Clinic encourages you to perform this repair safely, a warning icon will appear when you should use caution. To replace the turbo fan blade in this LG built-in air conditioner, you will need a Phillips head screwdriver, a short Phillips head screwdriver, and pliers. Before you begin the procedure, unplug the unit's power cord. Remove the inlet cover by detaching it from the top first. Pull the air filter up and out. Use the Phillips head screwdriver to unthread the two mounting screws, securing the front grille assembly. Pull the assembly out from the bottom, then lift up to detach. Disconnect the wire connector to fully remove the assembly. If required, use the Phillips head screwdriver to unthread the two rear mounting screws, securing the unit to its cabinet. Unthread the two front screws located on the left and right sides of the cabinet near the bottom. Now have an assistant help you to fully remove the unit from the cabinet and set it on a towel or blanket. Next, unthread the two screws securing the surface box cover. Slide the cover forward and up to remove. Detach the thermistor wires from the venting retaining clips. Now move the service box out of the way so you can unthread the screws securing the venting. Unthread the left side screws securing the venting and move the venting out of the way. Unthread the two left side screws securing the blower housing to the evaporator. Unthread the right side screw. Carefully pull the evaporator forward. Use the short Phillips head screwdriver to unthread the two right side screws, securing the front blower housing cover. Pull the left side retaining tab outward to fully detach the cover. Use the pliers to remove the retaining clamp, securing the turbo fan blade. You can now slide the old fan blade off the motor shaft. To install the new turbo fan blade, slide it onto the motor shaft and replace the retaining clamp to secure. Reposition the blower housing cover and snap the left side retaining tab into place. Rethread the two screws on the right to fully secure. Carefully reposition the evaporator. Thread the right side screw to secure the evaporator to the blower housing. Thread the two left side screws as well. Realign the venting and thread the left side screw. Thread the right side screw to fully secure the venting. Then reposition the service box and secure the two thermistor wires in the venting retaining clips.
Align the service box cover tabs with the slots and push the cover back. Rethread the two mounting screws. Now slide the air conditioning unit back into the cabinet. Rethread the front screws on the left and right sides to secure. Securing the unit with the rear cabinet screws is optional. Reinstall the front grill assembly by first connecting the wire connector. Make sure the vent lever is accessible just below the horizontal louver as you insert the upper tabs into the slots in the frame. Then position and snap the sides of the grill into place. Rethread the two mounting screws to secure. Realign the air filter by positioning the bottom edge first, then snap the top of the filter into place. Align the inlet cover hinge tabs with the slots in the grill assembly, then snap the top portion of the cover into position. Plug the power cord back in, and the air conditioner should be ready for use.